Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another adventure. This is actually the second part of our adventure today. We went to uh, Radio Tower earlier, JP and myself. And uh, that was very, very cool. We got to see the uh, AT&T microwave tower and had all that uh, transmitted signals for both TV and telephone. But today's adventure brings us back down to the train tracks. We are going to be looking at a, a switch house today and also a train station. So that's going to be interesting to get to. It's going to have a little walkways and um, we head down the tracks and we're going to get to, I believe, the switch house first. And then we were going to go head down to the train station. There are a few people I see here that are checking out the train station, but we're going to continue making our way to the switch house. So come follow me and uh, make our way into the switch house. I'll turn you around and get you a good view. Makes sense. This is a wide area. Yeah, and it's also why they have the um, switches up there too to switch between which line they're going to be on to stay on their destination. So we're approaching the switch house. And it's a, it's a beautiful looking building. I mean, wow. Take a look at that, guys. It's a beautiful find here. Right here on the tracks with Mr. JP videos. And again, out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we're gonna give you a glimpse inside and uh, show you what's show you what's left. So stick with me. I will. Uh, I'll bring you along. Outside the building says constructed in 1915 so we'll follow JP make our way inside all right we're gonna make our way through this little bit of forest here and coming in Some beautiful architecture here. <laughs> here we are, guys. Inside of the switch house. A little smaller in here. I expected. And up here is where the switches are. That would control the the trains. Like how did you spray paint that up there? Got some graffiti on the walls, of course. Mr. Monopoly Man. A zombie. So I'm going to have more switches. You mount that. Hopefully, they want to reach up to there and give you some footage. I know Mike said he's going to see if he can find a way as well. Originally, there would have been a spiral staircase right here, which has been removed, but people have definitely been up there. There's graffiti up there. And people recommend also find a drone up there, which is possible. Yeah, I'm going to try to, I'm going to, try to make my way up here, guys. 
Get that up there? If you want. It's recording. In a slow rotation. Definitely want to bring a ladder. to adjust for switching. So that is the basic understanding of how it works. So you move it up top, you come down here, go straight out, and connect to the tracks to switch it over to this one right now. Yeah, this is such a nice structure, though. There's a basement you can go to, but I think those guys are waiting to come in. All right, give them the... It's all yours. <laughs> if you guys find a way up to the top, let us know. Oh, there's guys that have gotten up there, but I'm not smart enough to scale one of those. Yeah, I got up to that second level, but I can't pull my... I'm afraid to pull myself up to that second spot. So yeah, 1915, so it's constructed. And uh, now we're gonna go around back. And I believe there's a basement here, which we're gonna go check out right now. Oh yeah, here's the window to it. But, oh. We're gonna make our way down here.
And here's a look from the back of the building. I mean, it's quite tall, three story, two story in a basement, so. But we're gonna make our way up in, into the basement right now. Good thing GP is a light. <laughs> I have to dig mine out of the pack. You know what are? Look like old rail, rail road, like yeah, rail, rail tires. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I use it for supports. They have a coal stove down here. That's the chimney for it. It's for their heat, for the cooking. That's the chimney from the coal stove. Oh, that's pretty cool. And again, these are the metal tracks from the railroad holding the structure up. And they're everywhere, every couple feet. Another little storage room here. With the window leading outside. But we're gonna turn around here. Yeah. Anything of interest in there? Not really just the crawl space. I think maybe just cold storage. Yeah. Yeah, there are other people up above us exploring, so if that comes through on the mic, I apologize. I want to show you too. These right here are steel supports. I've got stainless steel supports, they're actually railroad tracks. This is yeah, so that's, that's a look inside the basement. And this is something, something really cool to see. I mean, just imagine seeing this back in 1915. I mean, it's still pretty modern looking. Definitely looks like if you fixed it up, it could be used today. I love those church windows on the side and all the operator windows on top where you can get a great view. Where you can get a great view of the two lines that were would have ran down here. And as you can see, they go all the way around the very top where the operator would be switching the, switching the tracks for the guys. Leading up to the area here. There's an awesome tunnel that you come through. And there's uh, the tracks right above it. And right in the tunnel, you'll see the old church. Oops, sorry for the bouncing, this guy. So I just hit my gimbal. But yeah, you'll see the old church. It's not in use anymore, but they do take care of it. And if you can see that date up there, it says 1913.
But this is a pretty massive tunnel. It does go on for a little bit. I'll take a walk through it since we're right here. But this road does get used, so I gotta be a little careful. And uh, take you down here. And I'll zoom in on the church here. JP told me that this church wasn't in use, but they do take care of it. It's very well taken care of. No damage, nothing. It's a decorated, so that's a plus that there's no damage or destruction on there. But yeah, this is the tunnel. So we just made it through the tunnel and uh, we're going to catch up to JP and get a look at the train station now. And the original train station was built in uh, 1911. It burnt down and in six months and they relocated this new train station here. So, and I believe this went completely abandoned in the late seventies. Could be wrong. Okay, so we met up with JP and here we are at the front of the train station. You know, I'm gonna take a quick walk around the structure first and then uh, we'll take a look inside. The outside looks severely decayed. The tiles from the roof and the roof itself look like it's starting to cave in now. But as we make our way around the back, you see there's two entrances. The windows are all uh, have all been boarded up at some time. But yeah, we'll take a quick look around the outside and then we will uh, make our way inside. Again, more roof decay. Yeah, it's an absolute mess on the outside, but I do love this stone on the outside, the border of the brick. That is beautiful. Looks like it has like the keystone lock lock and the brick in place for the archway. Like I said, the architecture is beautiful on these buildings. You could tell they um, definitely put a lot of time in constructing these because they look absolutely beautiful. Just a shame that the decay on them happened so fast. I mean, can you imagine sitting out here, waiting for your train to come? I 
Now, did this have a platform, like a train station, or was yeah, it just? It, it would have. I think um, over there you can see remnants of it where water came out. It's actually like a concrete block where she is. Oh, okay. Yeah. It would have been something that came out. So it would have been a rail closer to this. So it definitely would have had something to load or unload. Yeah, I was thinking like maybe like right into here, because yeah. it looks like it might have been. It divots. Plaster on the ceiling too. Mm -hmm. Plaster and land. This is why I absolutely love having the wide angle. You can capture so much more. You can see a lot more from last time I was here. Okay, we're gonna carry on through. I mean, this has three rooms in it here. Let me get you up here and I'll show you. This is all constructed with the old lats and plaster. Like in the old days with the wood and they would just plaster over it to smooth everything out. So everything was all covered in that. Yes. Lav? Okay. I got crucified by having it on the first time. Oh, so not laugh. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's laugh. I don't want to get crucified on online here. But that's a that's definitely a process. You can see the old tiles here too that they had laid. So this whole inside would have been this nice white shiny tile as you can see the reflection so this would have been a pretty pretty place back in the day we got two extra rooms here i don't know what these could have been I was thinking restrooms at first, but not really sure. Like I said, I don't know if you'd be able to see any plumbing or anything below that. But there is a basement too, I'll take a look at. I believe I heard Jay say it was Here's the basement. Steps here. And as you can see, it is all flooded. It's all water down there. Won't be going down there today. Yeah, so this is this is it. This is the uh, this is the train station. And this is pretty cool to see, especially since both structures are literally several feet from each other. We have the train station right here. And then the switching station just up ahead. So it's pretty interesting to have two two abandoned structures still fully intact right next to each other. And uh, again, these these lines are active. So if you ever come down this way or plan on exploring. The area, just 
keep in mind that these these tracks are used and to be cautious and careful when you come down here but it'd been great to see like an old train platform out here like where they would come and wait for the trains but there's no possible way that would have survived I mean, you see a little bit of remnants of one. If I could focus here. Looks like the concrete to the existing platform. So yeah, it would have been a short platform. And I was told too here, there was another set of tracks a little closer here. So there would have been two sets of tracks running down this way and again this would be like the main entrance here and again look at the work the stone work right around the doorways I love that Yeah, really neat. I love, love all the stonework around the windows, like on the outside. Mm -hmm. And are those bathrooms? Okay, that's what I thought. I just didn't see any. Yeah, I believe that was an addition put on later on. Yeah, it makes sense. But one thing I really love is every window that has a curved arch like that. It's almost like, like a castle or a dungeon, you know? Every window has that nice... Yeah, that arch. And here they had, I figure that stuff is called, it's like a concrete plaster that went over the bricks. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. Like stucco. Mm -hmm. I like the tile too. Yeah, that's nice. It's even like shiny still. Like over here I was looking at it, you can see like your reflection. Super shiny. Actually, nice thing now the snow's falling through. Yeah, I know. I tried to get a still of the with the snow falling through. Give you a slow pan here and show you the whole area. I mean, that's all the way back where the bathrooms are. And there's a big room here. We're in the middle with the basement. Too bad it's flooded. And then the last room. We're starting to get a little, some flurries in. Just everywhere you look. I mean, every window is beautifully arched. Same thing in the doorways. Just looks awesome. Do one more walk around and I will probably wrap up the video there. the other side of the building. Followed by this concrete thing, which I don't know exactly what that is. Such an interesting find.
I would love to see this in operation. And again, this would be the old platform that I'm standing on. You could see a little bit of the concrete remnants of it. And the tiles from the roof all laying out here on the floor. But again, we'll wrap it up here. That was the train station. Snow and wind is starting to pick up now. And I'll give you one last shot since we're that close to the switching station. And again, I love that building too. The architecture was amazing. I mean, I would live in it if I could. It's that beautiful. Now here's the train station. It's just, or the switching station. It's just beautiful. Look at that. I mean, bottom looks like a church. The upstairs with all those windows. I mean, it's just a sight to see. And I got to see both of these today. You got to explore. Thanks again to JP Videos. I'm going to leave a link below to his channel, which I'm sure most of you already know, but I'm going to leave a link below and definitely go check out his videos. He, he will have uh, way more information about these spots than I did, as uh, this is my first time here. So go over, give his channel a sub, a like, some thumbs up. Tell him uh, Outnaturing sent you. And um, yeah, we'll be back for more adventures. Beginning of 2020, our first day exploring, and we have plenty, plenty more to come, guys. Lots of adventures coming this summer. We have a ghost hunt coming up, camping coming up, kayaking, lots more hikes, more waterfalls, so stay tuned. And if you like, just consider subscribing. You know, if you're on your friend's computer, just hit the like button. They probably won't even notice. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thanks for the, thanks for all the subs and the, all the support that you guys have been giving me. Sorry, I almost stepped in a puddle. But yeah, thanks for all the support, and I appreciate every one of you. 2020 is gonna be a great year, so stay tuned and keep maturing. See you in the next adventure.